Hi team, welcome back to High Tech Institution uh, YouTube uh, uh, channel. So hope you all enjoying in this playlist. Uh, yes, uh, we are discussing about uh, uh, Chat GPT. How can we help for our cloud and uh, DevOps career? So we have you know already completed uh, many videos. As you can see the link in the description. But one very important point. Uh, so regarding anyone new to Chat GPT, uh, not sure what is Chat GPT and how to create account with Chat GPT. Uh, the first introduction video link I have you know uh, pinpoint in the description. First watch that, then come to this video. Okay, because in this video I'm gonna explain uh, how Chat GPT is effective in terms of learning the DevOps tools. Okay, so that is the reason I'm telling. If anyone new to on Chat GPT and watching uh, uh, this DevOps video for Chat GPT, so go ahead and complete the first video. This is a hardly five minutes video, which is there in the description. Only then you will understand this video. Okay, fine. As usual, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video if you really feel like benefited. Okay, fine. So now we can uh, discuss how Chat GPT is gonna help us in terms of learning DevOps. Fine. So in DevOps, there are various things are available, various tools are available, various uh, you know open source things are available, cha license versions things are available. So how we can utilize the Chat GPT in terms of learning uh, DevOps? Mostly, right? I personally recommend. Uh, when you are uh, exploring anything in your project, you got a new task or you are doing some POC or uh, you are uh, personally interested in upgrading your technical skill. Uh, so you are uh, uh, trying to you know, know more about any particular DevOps tools or everything, right? Chat GPT is the uh, one centralized area where you can find all the information. Okay, so similarly, we can start uh, with our uh, uh, some questions and we can discuss more about uh, DevOps terms, how chat GPT is helpful. Hey, how can I assist you today? All right, so so thing is, uh, I want to know more about DevOps. Why? That's great. Group. Okay, I've asked why, what is DevOps and things and stuff. DevOps is a software development methodology, emphasis collaboration, communication between the software development ID operations teams. The goal of DevOps to increase the speed and quality of software delivery by automating the process, improving the communication. So, like it's giving you the reason. So, the another reason for the growth for the DevOps that they enable organization to optimize their software development process reduces the cost by automating repetitive tasks eliminating manual processes okay so like it's uh, giving you so cool i want to learn the ops can you help me with the roadmap Okay, I'm asking, since I'm very new to DevOps, I'm just asking where to start and how DevOps is helpful for my uh, career and, uh, and many, many uh, questions. Absolutely. So if you are a uh, beginner, okay, this is the high level roadmap for uh, DevOps. First, you need to learn Linux because Linux, uh, we all know when come to DevOps, it's playing a crucial role. Programming language, you should know any one programming language, just like Python or Ruby. Learn the virtual control system, that is Git. And then learn the continuous integration, continuous delivery, CI, CD, tool, Jenkins, okay, or Circle CI, or actual DevOps, something like that. Learn the infrastructure as a code, something like a Terraform uh, kind of thing. Uh, learn uh, containerization, learn cloud computing, okay, learn monitoring and logging, and uh, practice and uh, collaborate. So, so, this is the roadmap. When you are, you know, you know plan to learn about any particular uh, DevOps, you are new to DevOps. Maybe you know some items about DevOps, you are trying to upgrade your skill means also you can use ChatGPT or you are totally new. Uh, so these are the options no, suggested by uh, uh, ChatGPT. You can follow this roadmap. This absolutely perfect one. Uh, when you follow this roadmap, right, it will be really, really good. Okay. So fine. Let's get started. Uh, learning Linux. Linux are common. So imagine let's let's we are going to start with the uh, infrastructure as a code. Okay, I'm asking. Could you, could you please help me in learning infrastructure support and uh, which, uh, which, um, you know, a uh, good target as of today. Okay, I'm, I'm asking by ChatGPT. 
so which is the you know uh, infrastructure code i can go for preferably so see first suggestion it's given by uh, terraform next one ansible third one is cloud formation fourth one chef and the fifth one puppet so okay in terms of the code it is a declarative configuration language uh, yeah in terms of popularity and community support terraform is currently one of the most widely used uh, infrastructure as a code in the market so even i recommend to go with terraform uh, because it supports multi cloud open source and many of them using a very good uh, community base imagine you are new to terraform uh, let's you know uh, get started and uh, learn the particular terraform okay let's yes start from terraform uh, can you please help me be with the roadmap in learning terraform okay sure roadmap for learning terraform so learn basics infrastructure support before in diving into terraform it's important to understand basics of infrastructure support so whatever the infrastructure you are provisioning manually so we'll have to um, automate it through uh, some IAC code, infrastructure as a code. See, uh, we need to learn the basics of infrastructure as a code. Install Terraform. Okay, we need to uh, installing a Terraform from the official site. Learn the Terraform language. Terraform supports something called a HCL language, a Shikop configuration language. So we need to learn the HCL language. Understand the Terraform core concepts. Terraform several several concepts such as provider resources, models, and state file. We need to understand it. Learn how to use the Terraform with the cloud provider. Okay, Terraform supports many cloud providers, including AWS Azure GCP. So we need to learn how to integrate a Terraform with cloud provider. Learn the Terraform modules. Module concept is very important. Learn the Terraform with the version control and the CACD. Practice the real-time world examples. Fine. If we follow this uh, methodology, right, it will be really, really good. Fine. So we can go one by one. Give me the steps to install Terraform. Sure, here is the steps to install Terraform. You'll go and uh, pick the link. So you will be go to Linux or you can copy this code. You can unzip it. You can install Terraform by your own. Okay, any one way, uh, any one way you can follow to install Terraform. Okay, imagine you have successfully installed the Terraform, then learn the uh, Terraform uh, language. Can you please teach me that? Basics of Terraform language, HCL uh, with the small. Okay, so I asked, that. sure, I'm happy to install Terraform. So HCL is a HCARP language, it's been designed to infrastructure as a code. Okay, uh, it can be a syntax similar to JSON and YAML only. Hmm? So, see a simple example. So declare the provider in AWS and define the EC2 instance. If we come down, they have given an explanation about each. Okay, in this example, we are defining AWS provider EC2 instance themes. Here the breakdown of syntax. See, first provider. What does mean by provider? The block declare AWS provider the set of region or uh, US East one. So if you are not understand with this explanation, can you explain more about provider? What is the use of it and how? What is the use of it and why you need this? If you are not sure about provider, right, you can ask to chat GPT. So I am you know happy to uh, explain more about uh, provider and Terraform. Uh, Terraform provider, it's a plugin that define uh, manages a specific infrastructure provider such as Amazon Web Services, Google. When Terraform manages infrastructure, resource provider must be configured uh, the provider. The provider block specify the name of the provider required the configuration. So in the above example, right, we have given by defining a provider block, your Terraform configuration, you can manage resources of multiple provider using Terraform, single Terraform configuration. For example, you can define a uh, provider AWS issue GCP. In summary, okay, fundamental concept of Terraform that allow you to manage infrastructure resources. Okay, provider defining a configuration provider. So, like that, right? You can keep on build and go deep dive about you know, each and every uh, uh, points that's been given. 
okay so like that you can make use of chat gpt and learning the devops okay and uh, apart from that okay if you go to the previous response it will be there in the history so we have you know, got some idea of infrastructure code and now i'm going to uh, learn about learn containerization i would like to learn containerization can you please suggest me the tool name to kick start see it's giving the there are several tool centralization available in the market docker kubernetes okay podman uh, this lxc open shift there are several things but what i recommend go ahead and learn that docker and kubernetes so i wanted to know what is docker and kubernetes docker is one of the most popular containerization tool that provide the platform to develop deploy run the application in the container allow you to package your bit. kubernetes is an open source container orchestration platform that automates uh, deployment and centralization application everything now i wanted to know uh, what is that I wanted to know the difference between the Docker and Kubernetes. Docker and Kubernetes is both popular technology, modern software. Docker is giving you the explanation. Kubernetes is giving you the explanation. So this way, right, we can lively, we can interact with uh, chat GPT and we can learn the stuff. What I personally recommend, right? Unfortunately, there is no uh, official app given by chat GPT for now. Maybe it may come in future, but as of now, all of us having mobile, we are simply right scrolling and spending lots of time with social media. Really. What I personally suggest and recommend, have your own uh, uh, mobile phone, open the Chrome browser, open the chat GPT, and instead of scrolling in social media, right, try to explore about some technology tools, try to learn some content. By the way, right, if you spend five minutes per day, right, you are, you are, you are without you know, your uh, um, knowledge, you will be learning so many things. Even in your work uh, life, you may work in any particular DevOps environment. You may have some question, why we are using that? Why we are not using it? So uh, you don't know where to ask, whom to ask. You may personally feel like, okay, if I ask this question to him, he will feel like I'm not knowledgeable person like that. In that case and all, make use of chat GPT to ask your uh, questions, even if it's a silly or basic. Okay, it will be uh, responding to you. So even if you wanted to know the code, you wanted to write any code also, we can do it. Okay, hey, uh, sure, you know, uh, give me the code for creating AC2 instance. So I want to see the comparison. I want to see the comparison in Terraform cloud formation. Uh, what is the Ansible AWS CLI? And finally, Python. Okay, just uh, I asked. So I wanted to see the how the various code looks like. I have a requirement. How the same requirement, how it is in various code, which syntax is bigger, which looks very easy. You know, which syntax is most complicated one. We can see everything. Okay. So the comparison part, you know, you are, you are this kind of, you know, same way of comparison. You can't get it in the other, even if you search it in Google also, you need to see from different, different locations. But here's the centralized place where you are giving you all the, you know, uh, relevance of examples. So see. So sure, here is some example to create easier different tools and language. Terraform, see, this is the language to create it. AWS cloud formation. Okay. This is the tool to create. Ansible. CLI, Python model. All these codes, right, is compared and giving you in a different way. Uh, end of the day, right, our task is to make sure creating an easy instance. So, like the great advantages are there with um, you know Chat GPT. Uh, I'm recommending all of you to uh, spend some time on Chat GPT by learning yourself. You will easily you can upgrade it. Okay. And your office, you are doing some POC, you are trying to explore things, stuff, right? So, example, see, so uh, in my my project, we are, we are planning to, uh, so planning to uh, add uh, Kubernetes into our uh, 
black part uh, uh, and uh, the one who do you will see on this task can you please can you please suggest uh suggest me okay when i ask so it will be giving you a clear cut uh, you know representation it will give you a clear cut presentation also imagine you have any presentation regarding this poc what you did after doing the poc you need to present it to your people all those things right it can help you to you know doing a ppt so it's point by point is giving okay you can easily copy these items to a document or ppt or your you know one note wherever you can make sure uh, all looks good okay so now um uh, uh, i i want to make uh, ppt uh, i want to make ppt for the same topic to present can you please uh, help me with the content based on your content i can do copy paste so i can ask you no know, uh, directly so this is how the slide one introduction to cloud slide to what is kubernetes okay slide three okay installing kubernetes kubernetes com uh, concepts okay creating your first deployment scaling your application monitoring your best practices conclusion uh, uh great uh, can you please share the image for my ppt about uh Kubernetes so maybe uh share the example of Kubernetes architecture. That's my image request. Okay, fine. It's it's referred on image currently, which is not showing anyway. Okay, uh fine. Mm. So similarly, right, we can make use of chat GPT for getting all those things getting done. Okay, for example, in this uh, Kubernetes concept itself, uh, can you please give me more information about a services or deployment? Who wants to more information about? Okay, it's going to give you a more information about uh, the particular subtopics. You can even go ahead, you can mention it. So, by the way, right, it will be more, uh, you know, uh, attractive presentation when you are presenting it to. Okay, so these were right and great efficient way getting a code or writing a code. Of course, this is the first level video of DevOps. So upcoming uh, videos in the same playlist itself, I'm planning to make a video, how to write a, a Kubernetes manifest, how to write a Terraform, how can we learn Terra, Terraform with, uh, you know, ChatGPT, how to learn Boto3, how are we going to implement, you know, Boto3 with our environment, we're using, using ChatGPT, how to build a code, if you are new to programming, how to build a code, how to test the code, everything, right? I'm planning to make it as a upcoming videos. So, so stay tuned. Uh, so keep support me, subscribe this channel, first of all, and uh, at least give me a like, uh, share with your friends. It will be useful to others as well. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. I'll come up with the more videos uh, with live. Uh, we are getting a code here and next up, I'm going to live and I'm going to try for that. Okay. That is the action plan. So till then, thank you everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, we'll connect back shortly. Bye everyone.